Hey, how's it going everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to recover data from a laptop that will no longer boot into Windows. Now, of course, that laptop is uh, this HP laptop that I have here. Now, some of the things that you will need are a live USB. This is a live USB of Ubuntu. And another thing that you will need is a storage device. So what I have here is a USB uh, thumb drive, 128 gigs. Depending on how much data you might want to recover, uh, I don't know if 128 gigs would be enough, uh, but I mean, you could go ahead and get an external hard drive and go ahead and transfer the data there. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So I just want to go ahead and show you exactly what, um, what I see. So uh, let's go ahead and turn on this laptop. So as you can see, it's uh, preparing uh, automatic repair. Diagnosing your PC. And there it is. So automatic repair basically failed not be repaired. One of the things that's going to happen here is, of course, uh, I'm not going to be able to repair it just with a regular um, Windows 10 USB or DVD. I'm actually going to have to re-image this workstation. But of course, let's just say, you know, this is your workstation and you have important information that you want to grab from, from this. It could be family pictures, it could be documents, you know, just um, music, movies, I mean, who knows. But there's something important in this computer that you want back. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do at this point. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and do shut down. And I'm going to go right ahead and boot into this Ubuntu USB. So we're going to go to USB hard drive. Um, basically, this might look different, but uh, yeah, you'll just have to select the USB flash drive that you're using. Hit enter. Here, uh, let me see. We do have try Ubuntu without installing. Uh, install Ubuntu OEM installation for manufacturers. Uh, check disk for de uh, defects. So... Here, we're just going to do the try Ubuntu without installing. Hit enter. So Ubuntu is going to go right ahead and uh, run. And right now, we'll go right ahead and see a desktop. Okay, there we go. So we have a desktop here. All right, so here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the X right here. Okay. Let me see if I can focus. There we go. That's probably a lot better. Okay, so anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and actually before I insert the USB storage device, I just want to show you. So I can already see it that it's right here. It's uh, my basically my workstation's hard drive right here. Uh, there we are. So as you can see, this is the file structure of the hard drive that's inside of this HP. Now, where most likely your data is going to be located is actually inside of this user's folder. So we're going to go right ahead and go into this user's folder. We do see um, several folders here. Uh, all users. Uh, black, this is actually my user account. We have default, default user 0, default user, public, and we have this desktop.ini. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this black folder. So as you can see, basically we do have several folders here. And if we just go down the line, we do see desktop. And we have some of the folders that I had there. So I did have a work folder and I did have an office.txt folder. So uh, if we keep on going, let's go ahead and go into documents. Here's where all of your documents would be. So let's just go ahead and go back. So here's uh, downloads. So if you have any downloads uh, on your downloads folder, you could go ahead and copy them there. Uh, music, of course, if you have music there, pictures, basically you get the whole idea. So all of your data is basically in this user's profile. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and grab, uh, let's do desktop, documents, downloads, uh, music, pictures, and we're going to go ahead and right click. Oh, and, and by the way, I, you know, one, another thing, uh, just in case if you do have videos, you could go ahead and do videos. We're going to go ahead and right click. 
All right, do copy. So now that we have that copied, I'm gonna go ahead and insert my USB thumb drive. There we go. And as you can see, basically Ubuntu automatically mounts it and it shows up on screen. So here, let's go ahead and right click and we're gonna go ahead and hit paste. And there we go, just like that we have all of our documents in our USB flash drive. At this point, I'm just gonna go right ahead and exit out of this, go ahead and close this out. I'm gonna go right ahead and shut this down because what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna go into another Windows uh, 10 machine and we're gonna go right ahead and get all of that data. Okay, so we are in our other Windows 10 workstation. So let's go right ahead and see what we have inside of our USB thumb drive. So there it is. Let's go ahead and open it. And as you can see, we do have our desktop documents, downloads, music, picture, and videos folder here. So let's just go ahead and verify if everything got copied correctly. And there it is. So we do have our work folder and we do have our office.txt folder. Now let's just go to documents and we do have everything that I had inside of documents. Okay, so there we go. So as you can see, basically we went right ahead and recovered our data from this HP laptop that was no longer booting into Windows. So of course the next step would be now that we have our data back, we can go right ahead and actually re-image this laptop back to Windows 10. Once it's re-imaged, we could go right ahead and grab this data and move it back. Well, everybody, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you learned something. And like always, we'll catch you on the next one.